statistics, correlation, and regression are all important tools in statistics and data analysis. We are only very minimally scratching the surface here as they are used to explore and analyze relationships between variables, make predictions, and assess the strength and direction of association. A scatter plot is a graphical representation of data points plotted on the Cartesian plane or the XY plane. It displays the relationship between two continuous variables. The horizontal axis represents one variable while the vertical axis represents the other. Each data point is plotted as a dot and the pattern formed by these dots provide insight into the relationship, if any, between these variables. Scatter plots are valuable for visualizing patterns, clusters, trends, outliers, and the overall distribution of the data. So a scatter plot, as we begin our notes, shows the relationship between two variables, x and y, and x and y each have their own variable name. The x variable is the explanatory variable and the y variable is the response variable. So in this picture, the third, uh, we have the x-axis, which is the third exam score. This will be the explanatory variable as it's our x-axis. And then the response variable is the final exam score. I also see that there might be a linear correlation here, slight like this, slightly strong if you will. Correlation measures the statistical relationship between two variables. It quantifies how changes in one variable are related to changes in another. Correlation, uh, a correlation of negative one indicates a perfect negative relationship. Correlation coefficients range from negative one to one. A correlation of one indicates a perfect positive relationship where an increase in one variable is accompanied by an exact increase in the other. A correlation of negative one indicates a perfect negative relationship where an increase in the variable corresponds to an exact decrease in the other. A correlation of zero suggests that no linear relationship uh, between the variable exists. Correlation is important because it helps us understand the direction and strength of the relationship between the two variables. Putting this together then, a correlation exists between two variables when the variables have a relationship. In other words, the variables of one variable somehow related with the values of the other variable in some way. The linear co we'll start over the linear co correlation coefficient we denote as R measures the strength of the linear correlation between variables and is a variable between 0 and 1. Correlation doesn't mean linear correlation. A data can have a correlation but not be linear, as we'll see on the next page. Would the linear correlation coefficient indicate a linear relationship for any of these data sets? And then explain. This first one, if I were to draw kind of a line of best fit here, it does follow a linear pattern. So I would say yes, it's going in a linear, it's a positive linear, and I would even say positive strong linear direction or pattern. Number two here, I would also say that we are in a positive direction, but we do have an outlier. So it's not as strong, it might be moderately strong. It is positive in the direction, 
uh, slightly strong, linear pattern. Now let's take a look at number three. This, we are, yes, in a linear pattern, but we're now in a negative downward trend. So I'm gonna say yes, still strong, negative, since our slope is negative, linear pattern. Four is also negative, but notice the dots are a little further away. So I would say it's pretty weak or moderately strong, um, but it is negative. Yes, negative, moderate, linear. Number five, notice I've got some dots that are on my x-axis, so I'm kind of going like this with my pattern. So this is not linear. So there is a relationship, but this relationship might be more exponential. So we certainly can have other shapes. It doesn't always have to be a linear relationship. And number six, no, this is not linear. There's no pattern at all. Let's interpret the correlation coefficient. So when our R value is close to zero, we have no linear correlation. A positive value of R means that when X increases, Y tends to increase, and when X decreases, Y tends to decrease. A negative value of R means that when X increases, Y tends to decrease, and when X decreases, Y tends to increase. So a positive value of R means a positive slope, and a negative R means negative slope. Match the R value with the correct scatter plot. Then state whether the scatter plot has no correlation, positive, or negative. So we already did the positive, negative, and no correlation. Um, so as the closer that we are to zero, there is no correlation. So we said number six down here had no correlation. So my smallest number is two thousandths because there's no correlation. Then I'm gonna to go to my positive R values. I have two positive ones. The closer it is to one, the stronger the relationship. So as I compare these two, yes, they're both positive, but because number two has this outlier that is in fact pulling that line of best fit, I'm going to assign 685 thousandths as my R value to number two because of that outlier. And then I'll assign the stronger positive R value to the stronger of the two. We then had two negative correlations. We had number three that was negative and number four that was moderately negative here. So when I look at my two negative values, I have negative uh, 968 thousandths and negative 324 thousandths. Remember, the closer to zero we are, the, the least strong we are. So I'm going to say this one is the negative or 0 0.323. And then my stronger one, as it's closer to negative 1, negative 0 0.968. The closer we are to zero, the less relationship that we have. Finally, we have one more, so by process of elimination, we have 0 0.237 for part five. Regression analysis is a statistical technique that examines the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. 
it helps us predict the value of the dependent variable based on the values of the independent variables. Simple linear regression involves a single independent variable, while multiple regression deals with multiple independent variables. Don't worry, we're not dealing with multiple independent variables in this lesson. Regression analysis provides insights into the direction and magnitude of the relationship, allowing us to make predictions and test hypotheses. It is widely used in various fields, including economics, social sciences, and business. We can model data with a line when the shape is linear and the R is strong enough. The goal of the line of best fit or the regression line, which was covered earlier in the semester, is to have a line as close as possible to all the points. The regression line minimizes the vertical distance between the data values and the regression line. The regression line is written as y hat equal to a plus bx, where a is the y-intercept and b is the slope. Identify the line that best matches um, the line. So when I'm looking at this, I know that I have a positive slope. So when I look at my b values, the only one that is positive, so here's plus zero, uh, x, the only one that's positive is part b. Also, I see my y-intercept should slightly go near 173.4, but my best guess based on the slope is that first letter B. Um, y equals 50 is a horizontal line, and negative 4.83 is a negative slope. For making predictions, we will plot the scatter plot and perform a hypothesis test for linear correlation. Don't worry, we are not performing any t-tests here. That would be for a statistic class. However, I'm going to be able to give you some information and from that information we'll be able to pull out the pieces that are, are needed. So the test has already been ran. Now we have the information which we can then uh, look at and interpret. This is what you're going to need for your homework. So if the p-value is less than alpha, so a is alpha, there is sufficient evidence to claim that there is a linear relationship. However, if our p-value is greater than or equal to our alpha value, there is not sufficient evidence, so we can't say that there is a linear relationship. Determine if you use the reg regression equation to predict the mean of the y's on the next page. So here's our flow chart that will be definitely helpful for us. So the linear correlation exists between the two values. The value used for the prediction is not outside of the scope of the data. So uh, be careful to do not predict too far outside of the scope. Extrapolation is still alive and well and can give us misleading results. For each problem, determine whether there is sufficient evidence of linear correlation and predict the y value when it's given. So I'm going to look for my p-value and my alpha value, and then I'm going to compare them. My p-value of 0 0.1010 is greater than 0 0.05. So on our previous page, if it was greater than our alpha, there is not sufficient evidence. So using our flow chart, because we said no to at least one part, particularly here, the best predict value is the y of the y is the mean of the y. So I'm going to say y with the little line across the top. Um, remember that x with the line over the top is the mean. So y over the top is the mean of the y's. So there is no 
I should say there is not sufficient evidence to claim a linear relationship. Thus, the best predictor is going to be this, uh, the average of our y's, which is 2.2. So we predict the y value when x is 15. So this is the average of the, the x values, and we have our equation below. However, in the next example, we have 0 0.1010, and in this instance, our p-value is less than our alpha value. This tells us there is sufficient evidence to claim a linear relationship And since, yes, there is a relationship between the two variables, we will substitute the given x value into the regression equation to find the prediction of y. Thus, y hat is equal to 21.7 plus 23.3 when x is 15 times 15, so 371.2. The importance of scatter plots, correlation, and regression lies in their ability to reveal patterns, quantify relationships, and make predictions based on the data. They help researchers and analysts understand the underlying structure of data, identify trends, detect outliers, and uncover meaningful associations. These tools are essential in statistical analysis hypothesis testing, model building, and decision-making processes across various disciplines. It's a super interesting topic to cover and study, especially if any of you are choosing to um, go into any kind of research across any field. Alpha and p-values will be highly utilized and different tests along with those data will be highly utilized when interpreting findings in any research that you have or studies that you read. But with that, that concludes uh, scatter plots, correlation, and regression.